over and over again, scholars comment on Crispy's sense of humor. Somebody who liked a good joke. Whose approach was whimsical. And you can see that in these paintings. Putti frolicking with lambs and putti frolicking with birds. They were probably painted to be hung together, and putti is from the Sanskrit for young boy, baby boy. These children are having a great deal of fun. Um, you aren't quite as sure that the animals are having the same amount of fun, but they are all over the place. As we look at these children, these little putti, when we see something like the little one who's about to stick his friend, he's getting at him, he's doing something that, again, was considered eh, boy behavior. Then you have the putti who is climbing on the sheep. I think we can all relate, children trying to climb on dogs, and the dogs usually aren't happy about it. But it's an instinct, it's just kids, they see something they can ride and they want to. And in the other painting, you see these putti frolicking with birds. Looks like one of these putti is taking them out and handing them to his friends to play with. Again, this is something that we would be maybe a little queasy about because children often damage little birds. But this was part of children being children and children being slightly on the edge of being cruel. There's a sense of innocence, even as there's also this undercurrent of perhaps not so pleasant mischief. The sense of humor is a bit rough. There's a great deal of what today we would call slapstick. Cruelty was considered funny. It's an odd combination, but it's very 18th century. Crespi was himself a rather naughty boy. In fact, he was kicked out of one of his art schools for making a satirical picture of one of the patrons of the school. He, like the putti that he drew, he knew a good bit about being a mischievous little boy. You see again one of the putti, the one in the center, is holding a rod, and it's hard to know exactly what that was for. Maybe it was a switch, maybe it acted as a sword, you know, a play sword. And so these are not so much your idealized angelic putti. They're idealized in the sense that they're quite beautiful, but their behavior suggests cupids rather than angels. The odd thing about putti as cupids is that you really don't find those in the classical world. Cupid was a young man, an adolescent, most of the time. Um, he was Venus's son, but over the course of the late Roman Empire into early medieval period, the cupids became associated with mischievous children, but on a heroic stage. What we are probably most familiar with in terms of these images are Raphael's putti from his painting of the Sistine Madonna in 1512. They're also not doing anything overtly naughty, and yet even with them there's a little sense that maybe they're thinking about what they might do. And so when you see Crespi's series where he has these boys playing capoletto, which is a game and was used often as an excuse for betting, and yet they have the same sort of rounded figure. Same tousled hair and innocent air about them that you see in Putti. Crespi's son, Luigi, who was also a painter, claimed in his biography of his father that his father's creative energy was most strong in his observations of nature. He was encouraged to do this by the patronage, or by his patron, Grand Prince Ferdinand de Medici, who became his patron in 1708. And so Ferdinand de Medici liked the idea of painting from life painting ordinary occurrences. And so he encouraged Crespi to do this. 
he's interested in depicting the natural surroundings as they would have appeared. And we do have a very clear picture of the animals, and they do stand out in some ways on their own. So you have sheep, you have rabbits, you have birds, and these are all domesticated, and these are not intended to be viewed as wild creatures. It's about agricultural nature, and that's why these are in some ways the epitome of the pastoral. Pastorals are almost always idealized. The countryside was viewed as being more innocent, particularly as cities grew and as people began to associate them more with industry and with temptation. The countryside was seen as a counterbalance, as a place of leisure, as a place of innocence, as a, a place closer to nature. The puti in a pastoral setting are associated much more with harmless pleasures, and Crespi is good at capturing that. Thank mm -hmm. you.